TLDR, I basically made money selling memes on the internet. Have fun. Yo, if you've been on the internet lately, you probably came across this thing called NFTs, non-fungible tokens. And they're basically digital assets that people have been paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions of dollars for. The thought that probably came to your mind, which came to my mind was, bro, how the heck do I get my own NFTs and get on this thing? I created cooldoges.com, which are NFT collectible doges, set them up on the NFT marketplace, got some sales and got some bids. In this video, I'll be showing you, especially as a cryptocurrency beginner, how you can set up your wallet, create your first NFT artwork, and then put it out on the marketplace. And hopefully, you can probably get some bids and make some Ethereum if that's what you want. But honestly, it's really fun to make. And I think a way for me to get my foot in the door into the cryptocurrency decentralized finance blockchain scene, which I found personally very rewarding. So without further ado, let's This is Cool Doge. You can check it out at cooldoge.com. And these are collectible Mimi Doge NFTs that you can actually own. So we can go to Cool Doge, which is the OG NFT that I first created. Um, and you can see that it's going for 0.05 Ethereum, which is about $100. Someone already bought one of mine. Um, but you can see what's interesting is that people can also bid on your NFT. So we have Mr. Cookies here bidding for 0.025 wrapped Ethereum, which is about $50 for two editions. Now, the reason why NFTs are so interesting and taking over the art scene is that normally when you first put out an artwork or a piece of meme, you only get the benefits from the initial sale. I can only sell it once and then every time it's being resold, I don't get any benefits from that. This is where NFTs come in, where because it's programmed within the smart contract of an NFT, you can see that 10% of sales will go to the creator. So let's say that I give it off to Mr. Cookies, right? Let's say Mr. Cookies buys one of my cool doges and then he he puts it on for sale again. Now, if he sells it for one Ethereum, I as the creator will automatically get 10% of that cut to myself. And so for every preceding sale that an NFT gets, I will constantly get 10% of the cut back to me. And so as an artist, even if it's being resold and it goes up in value, I will continue to reap the benefits of my artwork and not just only benefit from the initial part. Additionally, NFTs, because of the way it's designed, there's a limited quantity creating scarcity and also you can trace the owner. So you cannot forge NFTs and everyone will know that, hey, this artist created this and this is the original. original. So to get started, we're gonna be using a platform called wearable.com, which is an NFT marketplace. And you can see artists and meme masters are creating NFTs that are going for, wow, this guy made $100,000 in a day. But you can see a lot of different artworks being put on, people are bidding on them. And yeah, you can get started by connecting a wallet. You might not have a wallet, but that's okay because it's it's actually ridiculously easy to set up a cryptocurrency wallet. We can actually go to metamask.io, um, which is a wallet that allows you to interface with blockchain applications. You can go to download, install it for Chrome, and it should show up in your browser. And it should look something like this. On the top, we have our address for Ethereum. And this is kind of like your email address where people can send you things, send you Ethereum, send you NFTs, and slowly in the future, as blockchain applications are continued to be built up, there's gonna be more applications that you can do with your Ethereum wallet. And so we have our Ethereum wallet here. You wouldn't have too many funds at the moment, um, but you can see how on my other wallet, we have uh, about $100 worth of Ethereum and about $100 worth of wrapped Ethereum, which is the currency used to bid, and it's basically the same as Ethereum. With your blank wallet, you want to be able to add funds or add Ethereum to your wallet. We're gonna go to Coinbase, which is a cryptocurrency exchange. Now, although Coinbase's fees aren't the best, what I really like about Coinbase is that you can earn rewards just by doing quizzes to learn about these cryptocurrencies. In order to log on to Coinbase, you're gonna have to need an account. I already have an account here, though it's relatively intuitive to set up. If you're under 18 doing this, 
be sure to use your parents' credentials as you do need to be over 18 in order to set up a Coinbase account. Once you have your account, you can then go to earn rewards and start getting free cryptocurrency. You can take these quizzes and learn about these cryptocurrencies and they'll send you $3 worth of their cryptocurrency, $3, $3, $10, yada, 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 a decent amount of money, enough to get started in the NFT scene. And because Coinbase is a cryptocurrency exchange, we can go to trade and we can actually convert some of our cryptocurrencies into other, right? So we can say, oh, I got $10 worth of free uh, lumens. I can convert it to Bitcoin. Or in this case, we want to use Ethereum. So we're going to convert it to Ethereum. I can do preview convert, convert now. And then it's going to trade my Stellar Lumens for Ethereum. And you can see now I got Ethereum. Now with our Ethereum, we can actually go to our wallet. So for the sake of demonstration, I converted some of my Lumens to Ethereum. When you do the quizzes, you're going to get a lot of different currencies, which you can all convert to Ethereum for free. But I'm going to show you how to send it to your wallet. We're going to go to our wallet. You probably not going to have any funds at the moment, though the process is the same regardless of if you have funds or not. So you can go up here and you can see this is your wallet address, which I can copy. I can paste it and it should look something like that. So that is your wallet address. And uh, you can see that within Coinbase, you also have your wallet. Now, once I copy and paste my MetaMask wallet, I can then paste it in here. And you can see it's kind of like an email address where this is the address where I want to send it to. I'm going to send all of my Ethereum and then I can press continue and it should send it now so once you've sent your ethereum you should have enough ethereum to then get started right so i have ethereum in my wallet you want to have at least 50 dollars worth to just set up your account and create your first nft now that we have funds in our metamask wallet we can go to connect wallet choose metamask and it should there should be a drop down menu that allows you to sign and confirm that hey i am indeed 18. but because i'm using my normal account for cool doge it doesn't show that but it should be very intuitive to do. We have some funds. You can see I have like 0.05 Ethereum, which is about $100 worth, and that should be enough to get started. Now, in order to create, we actually press, you guessed it, the create button. Because Bitcoin hit 60k today, I created a 60k cool doge, which I want to create. To create your NFT, you can choose between a single copy or multiple copies. I'm going to choose multiple. And you can see here's the interface. You can upload a file. So I'm going to go and to my desktop to now upload my $60,000 cool doge. You can upload GIFs, you can upload videos, you can upload images of your artwork, of your memes, that's all good. Now that I uploaded my 60K cool doge, we can put it on sale, set an instant sale price, which is the amount in which it can be instantly bought. We can set a uh, unlocked ones purchase, which I put a Discord link. We can choose a collection. Well, you can create your own collection, though I'm just gonna use Rarables by default. And now we wanna set a name. So you can see that I've added a name for our NFT, a description. Uh, royalties I set to 10%, which is basically, again, the cut that you get for every preceding sale. 10% um, is a good number. Set the number of copies to six to make it more limited and we can add additional properties. So it's cool doge number three, the dimensions are 2000 by 2000, and the rarity, I wanna set it to legendary. It's all very arbitrary, but um, if you're collecting these things and I have multiple cool doges, it's, it's good to set. Um, but now that you can see that I've set my cool doge, I can then create the item. Before you mint any of your NFTs, you always wanna check the gas price to make sure it's low, as it correlates to a lower minting price. And it is also applies to everything else related to Ethereum, where if you want to transact, high gas fees means that there's a high cut, though lower gas fees means that you pay less money uh, and thus you save more money. And so you can see how right now it's about 140 uh, GWEI. I'm not sure what that stands for, um, but before it was at 200. So I actually took a pause before I filmed this part of minting. So we can actually go back to um, our Doge and I can press create item now and it's gonna upload files and then start minting the token. So let's see, it's in progress and we should see something pop up on our MetaMask right here. Booyah. And so you can see it's $50. Before it was uh, like $70 and right now it's in the middle of the weekend. So it's also kind of high and I suggest um, 
I suggest minting when there's less activity on Ethereum, because then the gas fees will be lower. Then we press confirm, and then paid $50. Just by waiting an hour, I saved about like $25 in the minting process. But you can go as low as I think $30 for minting. And we can sell, and now we can sell the sign order. We just press sign, and then we sign the lock order, which, booyah. So after waiting a bit, you can see now my NFT has officially been minted and it's on Rarible platform. So yeah, you can see that it's officially been minted on Rarible. If you want to go support the channel, you can go to the Rarible link, which I dropped in the description, and you can bid and try and get yourself hands on one. I'll be giving away one edition of this NFT to a lucky viewer. And all you need to do to be considered is to like, subscribe, and comment down your Ethereum wallet address, which you can see it's right here. You can copy it and then just paste it in the comments. And by the end of the week, I'll be giving one away. And yeah, hopefully this video was valuable to you in creating your own NFTs, and I'm looking forward to seeing your memes, artworks all over the place. You can drop them down in the comments as well, and I can take a look and get my hands on some. Peace!